Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have my outgoing swap uh, Crafty Crafts on Dina here on YouTube. She has a Facebook group called Crafty Crafts by Dina Swaps and Stuff. And this is probably my, I would say my sixth swap to do in that group. Uh, we have a lot of fun in that group if you're not a part of it. Um, it's on Facebook, like I said, Crafty Crafts by Dina Swaps and Stuff. And every month she gives us kind of an assignment and a partner and so this month was the January swap and it was for Valentine's Day and we had to include bows, mini envelopes, flowers, hearts, one shaker, flags, mini banners, a memory decks card, a tag flip with at least four tags, and then a crafter's choice item. So I've got several items here. My partner, her name is Janie, uh, did a video a few days ago of the swap she sent me. She sent me some really cute, super cute stuff that I'm still enjoying. Uh, but this is most of what I'm going to be sending her. So this little mess right here, I have this ribbon and this bag for the little flags that I made her. And most of the paper that I used is the uh, My Valentine Collection by Cartabella. And I used some little uh, flowers from Dollar Tree, some little pom-poms from Dollar Tree, and these little holographic paper straws, and made her these little flags, and I just had them packaged in this little bag, um, tied up with a ribbon, and sorry about that. Next thing I have here, uh, I made a little policy envelope with this cherry paper. I got it Joanne. And I put a little Velcro closure on it. And this is a luggage tag die set that I have from KS Craft. And I thought it was cute. It has the little heart holes there. And I used the Perfectly Splendid Collection from DCWV. I thought she might want to further embellish these, but I just love the bird and the flower paper here. So I left them kind of plain and put a little heart paper clip here on the little envelope for her. So one of the requirements was mini envelopes. She made me some super cute little embellishments with tiny envelopes and letters and dangles and they were just adorable. I was not very creative when it came to the mini envelopes. I did use that same cherry paper from Joanne and I made her several little envelopes. This one's about a one by one up to about a four by four. And I thought they'd be cute maybe adding as pockets in a journal or she could make little cards uh, to fit in them, use them as embellishments or however she would like. But I was not super creative with the envelopes and that's what I came up with. I did make her a card and I've got it blank here on the inside, just a, a pink piece of paper here. But that is um, the Conversation Heart die from KS Craft. And I used some glitter paper behind it and popped those up on a little bit of foam and some little heart jimmies there. So that's the card. And then I don't have this package finished yet. I will fix this before I send it off, but I have another die that makes these smaller Valentine flags. They have the little love word cut out, um, so they look like Valentines to me. So I made her a couple of those, and I did die cut her a couple of those conversation hearts the same ones I used on the flat, or, I'm sorry, on the card. And then I made her, I have a small banner die set. I decorated a couple for her with the little uh, clay hearts from Hobby Lobby, the shaker mix. And then I left a couple blank for her or, or plain and, and she might wanna decorate those herself. But those are the little mini banners and such that I made there. This is her set of bows. Um, I actually used the Paper Studio Vintage Valentine paper collection that they had out for this year. And I added some little flat backs and buttons. And this is a flat bow die that I have. And I popped the top layer up on a little bit of foam um, just to give them a little bit of dimension. But they're still, for the most part, pretty flat. So that's the set of bows that I made her. And then for the tag flips, uh, I saw Dina do this in her swap, and she took 
the cut aparts from a collection and made a tag flip with them. And I had already made her a tag flip, but I thought that was such a cute idea. So I um, made her this one with the cut aparts. I just put some ribbon and a little tool bow and there's some little charms there. And I've got some of the three by four cut aparts and I did put, you know, little embellishments on each one. So there's, and I've got them backed up on some extra card stock, so they're sturdy. But there is the little three by four cut aparts. And then I believe these are some of the four by six cut aparts. And let's see. If I can get you to the last one there, the Happy Valentine's Day. But I thought the cut aparts in that collection were super cute. So I just put that together for her kind of last minute. And I also did, I guess you could call this a little charm flip. There's another tool bow I added. But I had some duplicates in my stash of some charms. These were from Michael's, these little uh, flower charms. And then I've got these little Tim Holtz kind of vintage looking charms here. And then I have some of these uh, flower charms from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. So I just put those together on a book ring with a little bow for her. And then the first, the actual tag flip I made, I put some little chiffon bow on here, some ribbon, but I made some tags and then I added some store-bought goodies as well. So there's a little tag that I made. Um, and then these are some flowers from Hobby Lobby and some little blingy heart gems also from Hobby Lobby. And here's another little tag that I made. And some puffy heart stickers from Hobby Lobby. I've pretty much seen everybody include these in their swaps, but they are super cute. And then I made a couple of large tags. And there's some doilies, and here's that other large tag. And I believe the doilies were from Hobby Lobby as well. So this is pretty much the main tag flip, I guess, of my swap. And a little extra I sent her. I've just got it in this little sleeve here for now. But I've included this in another swap I was in. I just thought these were super cute. At Walmart, they had a list pad and it had conversation hearts on it. And so I just made a little cover for it out of that Cartabella collection. And I love that that one says Happy Mail there. And here's the inside again. Put some of the little stamp stickers on it. And then the back has the little stamps as well. So these come in handy. Hopefully she can use that. The memory decks card I made, I have a mini memory decks shaker coffee pot die. And I've made this actually without the little mem decks part on it, just as an embellishment. It's super cute. Um, but I used some gold paper for the top of the coffee pot there. And this little sticker from the collection says heart time and I put a little button there. I had these little flower sequins with the little gold center. So I pretty much kept this all pink and gold. There's some other little pink hearts in there. Some gold sequins from the Happy Crafter Shop. I love the, the large sequins. And then some little pink diamond dots. I don't have my information on the back yet, uh, but that's the Memdex card I made her. And it is a shaker, but I made her a separate shaker as well. This is an envelope shaker die that I have, and I just used a couple of layers of cardstock to make it sturdy and a little ephemera piece. And I have these tiny adhesive sequins. I think they're from Stampin' Up, but they're super cute. I thought they added a little to that. And then I used those little clay conversation hearts from Hobby Lobby again. So I did make her a little shaker there. Um, I've got a few little sweet treats for her. I did make her uh, one of these chocolate bar boxes from the KS Craft chocolate bar box die. This is some of that clear paper from the Michaels Valentine's packs. And then the rest of this is from that Cartabella collection. So it just makes a super cute box with a little window in it for the, and I've got the, the Valentine Hershey bars in, in there. And then if you follow Letty over at Party Planner Papery, she made these little sleeves for Kit Kat bars on her channel the other day. And I thought they were so cute, so simple, 
It's a very easy little tutorial. Uh, so I did make her a little Kit Kat treat there. And I have a lollipop die that I love to use at Valentine's Day since it's a heart. And this is that Cartabella paper again, but it's got a little strawberry lollipop in there and that's just decorated there for her. Um, let's see, I have, I got these vintage Valentine postcard stickers from Amazon and they came in large sheets and I, I think there was nine on each page. So I just cut them up to fit in this little clear pocket and I backed the pocket on some cardstock, made a little flap and a little Velcro closure says what a lovely day there and like I said I have plenty of these to share I've sent them in some happy mail and other things but you know they would make a super cute quick kind of a three by four valentine card like we used to give in in grade school you know if you're about my age or so we used to give little valentines like this all the time and these little vintage kids look like something that we would have had on ours but I thought they were super cute and I'm so glad I got you know, plenty to share. So I just made this little pouch and I'm going to gift her some of those. Um, I did make a few little bag toppers and some little tiny bags just to send her uh, some little flat bags. Tried to pick stuff in my stash that was pink and red and Valentine looking. This one has um, just some little flowers, pink and red flowers, and I made her a little clip with a strawberry on it. Um, and this one has some little red bows and then these kind of hot pink or purple little stars in it. And I made her a little clip with a flower on it there. This one has some red and pink buttons in it and another little clip with the bow. And I made a clip here with the little lippy on it. And I think these are from Dollar Tree. This is the little flat back flowers and hearts and butterflies. So gifting her some of those. And I did make her a sequin mix. This little jar came from the Dollar Tree. I think it came with beads in it. Uh, but I made her a sequin mix out of some blues and some silvers and some little clear glass pieces in there. Um, but I didn't want that cork to come off in mailing, so I did put it in a little Ziploc bag here. And this is one of those plastic spoons from Dollar Tree, and I just put a couple of little hearts charms on it for a little dangle so gifting her that I do have a couple other small items I'll be including in my swap but these swap groups are so much fun it was really fun to get to know Janie and like I said every month that I've done this I've made a new crafty friend and we communicate all month long and several of the members of that swap group um, we still communicate you know to this day and those ladies share neat projects in the the Facebook group and they'll share their videos if they're on YouTube and it, it's just a lot of fun so lots of thank you to Dina uh, for hosting her swaps each month and having the Facebook group uh, and thank you so much for watching